Welcome back to the final segment of our pre-recorded interview with Joy Junction. We have Jonathan and he's in the chat talking with me and then we have the wonderful, prestigious Jeremy Reynolds on the phone. I'd like to thank you for taking the time with us this evening. I know you have a big uh, meeting tomorrow and everything and I want to ask you one final question to close this out. What would you want the listeners to tonight's interview to take home with them to think about to dream about what is the one thing that you think they need to hear right now you know first i wanted to pray uh jeremy for joy junction obviously to pray for your ministry too but to pray for us to joy junction because if we have prayer if we have your prayers if we have your wife's prayers then god will bring in the all the resources that we need to keep uh, this ministry of compassion he has given us going. You know, we're going to be 25 years old in 2011, 24 years old this year. But above anything else, Jeremy, I want folks to to fall in love with Jesus because as, as I re-fell in love with Jesus again a few years ago, cause I got into a little bit burned out and jaded, going through some personal issues of my own, a real painful divorce a few years ago, uh, also. Mm -hmm. But I fell in love with Jesus again also fell in love with our, our clients. A couple of days ago, I was going by a local mission with one of my colleagues, and I saw all these uh, men, single men, sitting outside the mission, and I remarked to one of my colleagues I was with, I said, they, they almost look like little boys without a father. And to me, they were beautiful, because they were just like, they were just like expecting us to love them. Uh, and I want, I'm like, I would just love if everybody who ever gets to listen to this would just ask the Lord to, to let them see the homeless and the needy, the homeless men, women, families, boys and girls, to let them see the homeless as Jesus sees them. Not that they are maybe stretched on the ground drunk or, or eager, but, but, but even just, just to love them as they are and to quit judging and to start loving and to ask the Lord how he would have you be involved with helping the homeless. Maybe if you're going to your local diner, have to eat, somebody hits you up for a meal, to consider, you know, carrying maybe some local, uh, consider carrying some local, some, some, some local, consider carrying, try that again for a third time, consider carrying some gift cards made from the local fast food establishment, whereby you can give somebody a five dollar gift card, can pray for them and, and can love them, direct them to your local mission, and pray how you can get involved with your local mission, but please folks, Start being, start being known for what you are, not for, not for what you're against. And, and start asking the Lord to be used as a vessel, showing his love, not his condemnation and judgment to those around you. God bless you, Jeremy. Thank you for giving me a chance to be on your uh, show. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. We're going to end up the pre-recorded session. And uh, I'm going to pray with you off air. And uh, I hope, hope everyone enjoys everything. And we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.